Hey guys, it's Thunderstorm Toys here, and I'm back, and today I'm going to show you how to port forward or port forwarding. Um, so yeah, I'm basically, first you would want to go on port forward, port forward.com, which is a simple website. Um, this is a website uh, which shows you how to, um, what numbers to type in, and yeah. Okay, let's go. Basically, you type in your, well, you find your router brand, mine's D-Link, there's people with um, Belkin and um, other stuff, I forgot, I can't remember off my head, um, what's D-Link, oh, there it is, then mine, and then you find the router number, okay, mine's DSL2780, okay, yeah, there it is, oh, not that one, come on. And you search it, and then as you can see on the list, there's a bunch of games like Battlefield, Call of Duty, Gears of War, Brother in Arms, Borderland, and loads more Counter Strike, even. Um, wait one second, let me just. Yeah, Minecraft server. <laughs> it's even Minecraft. Um, so yeah. So I'm doing Call of Duty, I'm doing Modern Warfare 2. Why do I say model, uh, Call of Duty? I'm doing Modern Warfare 2 for this video since, yeah. Um, I've already done it, so I'm going to show you what you need to do. As you can see, that shows you the steps. It tells you to go under 192.168, whatever, point whatever. So I'm going to go on that. Mine's 0.1.1, yours could be 0 0.1.2, 0 0.1.2, uh, 0.1.5, but it depends where you live and what broadband you have, I think. Okay, let me just type it in. One, oh god, um, 192.168.1.1 and enter. This is admin, the password's admin. And then you, you just get this, you, well, whatever your broadband is, you click on advance. Then you click on advance again once you get on your, um, your broadband router page. And then you hit on virtual server and when you scroll down your shouldn't have these six yet your should have like these but I'm going to show you how to add them in basically up here on the form you tick this box then you type in whatever game then after the game whatever game you would I would recommend you put in brackets like once because that's when you scroll down on this page, the for port forwarding, you have s different entries. Model fetcher has six entries, so you need to put like six. Then you literally just copy that into there. And make sure you put that as both. And internal IP, I'm going to show you how to find that. Basically go on search, all programs, accessories. This is on Windows 7. I don't, it should be on Windows Vista, but I don't know about um, XP. Command prompt, you type ipconfig, and that's ipconfig, hit enter. Um, I have Hamachi for my Minecraft, so um, it, sh it shows you Hamachi, but it's not Hamachi, that's, the wrong, that's just a fake IP address. You scroll right to title and you can't scroll anymore. Then it should be next to the IP4 address, and mine's that. Yeah, that. And a newer versions, um, well, I wouldn't say newer versions, but some versions can be IP6, depends what thing you use. Yeah, and you just type that into your internal IP, you add it, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You add all six, then you just go on your Modern Warfare 2, and the NAT should be open. If it's still strict, make sure you type the numbers in right, and if it's still Strict after you've done that, um, leave a comment below this video and I'll try and help you out. Hope you like this video, guys. And if you want more like, tutorials type things, please subscribe. And yeah, peace out, guys.